We're going to jump into our top five episodes of season two. And those $10 patrons also get to contribute with their top five. We put those all together uh, in a, you know, kind of a point system and have the patrons top five list as well. What's your number five episode? Let's just jump into okay, it. Yeah. We'll do uh, honorable mentions before the number one. <sighs> Jesus. Okay. Um, sorry, let me pull my list here. My top five of Star Trek season two, the next generation is elementary deer data. All right. What's your number five? My number five is peak performance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's, that's a good top five. I love peak performance. It should have been the season finale, in my opinion. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah. And the number five for the patrons Elementary Deer Data. Let's go! I knew I liked you guys. They agreed with you on that one. Hell yeah. Uh, what's your number four? My number four is Q Who. Okay, okay. Yeah. I yeah. T to be honest, like... I wonder if they'll be surprised it's that low. One thing is, these lists in my brain are never set in stone. They can always change. But uh, And to be honest, I put my list together in like five minutes. Not even. Like, it was pretty easy to put together. But, like I always say, like, maybe number one is always a solid. That's number one. But two through five, they could be interchangeable. In, in this case, maybe two through four. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like in this season, there are, like, six episodes that I'm like, these are, are bangers. Yeah. And they could go in different orders. It's just kind of how I feel about them right now. Mm -hmm. um, so, you have Q Who at number four. I also have Q Who at number four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love it. I, I love Q Who. At this point, these are all S tier episodes. Yeah, you know, so we're we're at the top level here at this point. Yeah. yeah. So if you looked at our tier list, there's four S tier episodes. So you know what you know what the episodes are going to be. But uh, you kind of have an idea. Uh, Shadow, Shallow Gal asks, "Did you recognize Kalar from How I Met Your Mother?" Funny story on that. We didn't while watching it. We realized it after when we looked up the actress for the discussion, but I brought up How I Met Your Mother during the reaction for unrelated reasons. So, you did, yeah. Yeah, so it was so ironic. Funny. Um, let's see, number four from the patrons. Number four from the patrons is The Emissary. So that one's in their top five, okay. number four. Okay, cool. What's your number three? My number three is Code of Honor. Oh, wait, hold on. A Matter of Honor. <laughs> Sorry. A quick little, uh, yeah, A Matter of Honor. By, uh, directed by Rob Bowman. Yeah, that one's great for sure. Uh, number three might be a shocker, guys, for me. The Measure of a Man is my number three. Okay. I'm sure that's a bunch of people's favorite. I wouldn't be shocked if it's your favorite and we find out in a little bit. but uh, We'll find out. We'll find out. But for me, I like two episodes just a little bit more. But Measure of a Man is number three for me. Excellent episode. Um, and then we're going to go to the patrons who had number three. Oh, look at that. Of course, they agree with Alex again. A matter of honor. Let's go, boys. Let's. Hold on. Let's. Ready? Let's go, boy. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. What's your number two? My number two, no surprise at all, is The Emissary. And I just got a shout out to Kalar, my favorite guest appearance possibly ever. Um... Probably tied close with Harry Mudd, but Harry Mudd has a bit of an advantage because we've seen him three times in three episodes. Kaylor came in with one and knocked it out of the park. Uh, it's tough, but yeah, the emissary. Cliff Bull. Director Cliff Bull. Cliff Bull, always with the bangers. My number two is going to be a matter of honor. This one just edged out the measure of a man. Okay. And I just, I, I think it, the order has something to do with it. Because Matter of Honor came first, and it was such a re like refreshing, like, oh my god, this is what TNG can do. Yeah. And I just love Klingons and TNG so much so mm -hmm. far. And uh, it, it was also like the coming out party for Riker. You know, kind of like how Measure of Man was, people say for Picard. We've been begging for it, yeah. Yeah, it was like Jonathan Frakes. He was my most excited you know, person for this show. It's like, let's go. Uh, and I absolutely love that episode. So that's yeah. my number two. Uh, patrons number two is going to be Q Who. So a bit yeah. higher for them. That makes sense. That makes sense. Uh, let's go to honorable mentions. What did you, what would your honorable mentions? Uh, my honorable mention definitely has to, uh, it was your top five. Let me uh, let me. Uh, <laughs> I mean, it, it was your fifth one. What was it? Um, peak performance. Peak performance. Yes, peak performance, and uh, the Skitsaway Man. I got to say. Uh, let me see if there's any more. Maybe maybe the Royale just because of how fun it was, but uh, yeah, that's as far as I'm going. Yeah, JMB said Frakes bias for Josh. Absolutely. I, I got to admit it. Yeah, I'll take at this point. 
you know, Jonathan Frakes over uh, Patrick Stewart, but I love them both. I love them both, but I got that soft spot for yep. Jonathan Frakes. Yeah. Uh, Honorable mentions for me, same thing as uh, you, uh, Elementary Deer Data was my top honorable mention. Just missed the list. This, these are all very close. Yeah, all very, very close. close. And then I would also say the Schizoid Man uh, missed it. So yeah. oh, very yeah. very similar there for our top seven. The patrons, uh, first I just want to say these are all episodes that did get a top five vote, but came nowhere near making the list. But they did get a top five vote from somebody. Uh, Times Square, The Royale, Loud as a Whisper, the Outrageous Okana, Contagion, Pen Pals, and believe it or not, Up the Long Ladder. All of those episodes got at least one top five vote. Uh, CM Waters, real quick, $5, thank you. He says, next time you do flexing, you need to do Bray's Muscle Man Dance, mostly because his recent special on WWE Network. I need to watch that. I need to watch that. Cause I'm sorry, I have no idea what you're talking about, but yeah, I should watch that. I've never watched a WWE Network special. <laughs> I've seen probably hundreds of ads for them, but I've never seen this. I've never watched one. Um, and I've paid for the service for over a decade <laughs> at this point. And then as far as honorable mention for the patron takes, there was one episode that came close to the top five list in their votes, but didn't make it. And that was peak performance. Really? Just, just missed out on their top five to uh, elementary deer data. So same as you. Okay. okay. What is your number one episode? Oh, gee, let me, let me think about it. Um, the measure of a man. I cried on camera watching this episode. It's everything that Star Trek is and should be. It's a, uh, they even said that, you know, the goddamn uh, title line in the show, to Seek Out New Life. Well, there it sits. And uh, uh, kayfabe spoiler, we watched the extended version, and I think that only added to it, in my oh, yeah. opinion. That's but, coming soon. But uh, right now, this even the episode on its own, it's still a masterpiece. Uh, it was directed by Robert Shear, who also directed Peak Performance. And uh, the writer was Melinda M. Snodgrass, who was a frequent story editor on the show. And that was our first episode, I believe, too. Yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, this episode is what Star Trek is and should be. And, yeah. And my number one episode, The Emissary. It, you know... We're, we, we were uh, right there. This was like the My Side... Uh, uh, this Side of Paradise. This Side of Paradise. Thank you, from TOS for me. This Side of Paradise, Spock, for the first time in my life, I was happy. The Emissary... Uh, Worf, on the, I won't be complete without you. Oh, no, no wonder it was your number one then. Yeah, yeah it makes I so mean, much it sense. Just, uh, it's my favorite episode of Star Trek TNG so so far, so far. I don't so. blame you, dude. I don't blame you. Our our top twos were interchangeable. Like these are all like super close. Like like I said, the the S tier, uh, S tier, A tier, like a solid six that we can choose from, yeah. and they were all like very interchangeable. And for the patrons, uh, yet again, they agree with you. The measure of a man. Q Hu was Q Hu was coming close, and there there were a lot of number one for Q Q Hu in their rankings, but uh, Measure of Man just beat it out by a couple votes. That makes sense. Makes so sense. thank you to all the patrons who participated in that, um, and there, there we go, guys. So W R L for our top five list. Let us know. 